Can you imagine Tom Felton reading your fanfiction? It's like making me sweaty. <sighs> sorry, I just like started thinking about things. Okay. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Do you guys like my pretty laptop case? It's all the Harry Potter covers. Ooh. Hey guys, Tessa here, and for today's video, I am going to be reacting to videos of Tom Felton that I found on the internet. Yes, we are reacting to Draco Malfoy himself. Oh, my father will hear about this. I'm so excited. If you're new to my channel, hello. Make sure you are subscribed. I'm currently trying to reach 700,000 subscribers, so if you are not subscribed yet, please do so. And if you thought you were subscribed, just double check because apparently YouTube has been unsubscribing people. I don't know why, I hate it. Also, follow me on TikTok. All right, Tom Felton, let's do this. First, we have Tom Felton doing Harry Potter impressions. This should be interesting. I've never actually like seen a member of the Harry Potter cast do Harry Potter impressions before, so. It's not Liviosa, it's a Liviosa. <laughs> Boy, what? That's not even close. Severus, take him down to the jungle. No, the jungle? The jungle? The jungle? Take him down to the dungeons. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think he ever said that, but I'm going to do his voice. I mean, he was kind of doing like a Richard Harris vibe like were you trying to go for michael gambin or were you doing a richard harris because they're very different dumbledores a lot heal away harry did you put your name on the cover of fire potter no not there i'm losing it mm. scared potter <laughs> you can't do an impression of yourself i mean it sounds perfect to me i think you still got it i love when like a villain character has a really distinct thing that they do. I just always loved Malfoy's Potter, Potter. I, see, I can't do it right. You foul, loathsome, evil cockroach. That was a great punching sound. I mean, the rest of it was questionable, but the punching sounds. You all right there, Harry? You all right there, mate? Oh no, not me, not me. <laughs> These haggard faces though. You just... No. Oh, I freaking love the Snape dramatic pause. But he's still here, in our hearts. Neville. Right up. <laughs> <laughs> that ukulele came out of nowhere. Swish and flick. Yes, that's right. That's very good, children. Very good, very good. It's oh a God. swish and a flick. Wait, that was like pretty good though. I feel like Flitwick was his best one yet. Give me your sock and then I will be free. <laughs> Sorry, that Dobby sounded just like Mickey Mouse. That like, oh, that was such a Mickey laugh. Next we have Tom Felton reading fan fiction. Can you imagine Tom Felton reading your fan fiction? It's like making me sweaty. <sighs> Sorry, I just like started thinking about things. Okay. All right, ladies, gentlemen, wizards, witches, muggles. Me at the beginning of a YouTube video. Ladies and gentlemen, wizards, witches, muggles. All you cool, cool cats, cats and, kittens. and kittens out there. Yes, over the years I've been made aware. Why is he doing like a Hagrid voice right now? Oh, I've been aware. People have, uh, well, done some creative writing. That's one way to put it. Okay, I am sweating. <laughs> Chapters one and two. Chapter one. Oh my god. A.M. Oh, uh, author's note. Someone said this to me. Yes, uh, Wait, do I read that out or not? Read it! My name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway. And I have long ebony hair. Uh, ebony black hair. I can't, I can't. Oh my god, he's reading my immortal. What? Better than anything that I was imagining. Who, who sent him my immortal? Which one of you did it? I know one of you guys did it. Uh, with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid-back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Oh, this entertainment. The entertainment tonight. I feel like the first fan fiction I read was a Dromine fic. Or maybe it was Romine. Hermione was definitely involved. I feel like it was Romine because I feel like I was really into Ron and Hermione at that time. And then I like found the Drary fix. And those were my favorite. Next, we are going to be looking at Tom Felton's cameo, like a cameo video. I need to mention that this man's cameo 
is like $600. It costs $600 to get a video from Draco Malfoy himself, Mr. Tom Felton. I am so tempted. <laughs> Joe will be so mad at me. He's like, you spent $600 for what? For what? I'll be like, this is a business expense. <laughs> Help me and write in the comments what I should have Tom Felton say in a cameo to me. Okay, anyway, let's watch someone else's cameo who spent coin. This is Tom, AKA Draco Malfoy. Now my father has heard about you. My father has heard about you. And I heard you are turning six. Six? Six muggle years. Congratulations. No, wait a second. Someone got this for their six-year-old daughter? I mean, holy crap, like mother of the year. Like what, what present did I get when I was six? I don't even know, like a ball? And I will save you a spot in Slytherin. Oh, okay? cute. So I'll see you at Hogwarts. Happy birthday, my darling. Oh, uh, okay, that was adorable. Next we have <laughs> Tom Felton watching Harry Potter. Apparently he was watching Harry Potter on live or something. I don't know any of this. I am not like tuned in to the Tom Felton fandom. This is the very next- uh, <laughs> There is the little shit. Sorry, it's me. <laughs> he goes, look at the little sh Oh no, that's me. <laughs> Whenever I'm like watching old home videos or old videos of myself or just when I like see myself, I'm like, oh look at that little sh like watching yourself in Harry Potter must be like next level and so bizarre. Cause that's also like your childhood was on that set. Even being like on Bunked on Disney Channel, like watching yourself is very weird. It's guarding something. Oh, my ass. What? Did he say in my ass? Oh, my ass. In my ass? Oh, wait, is he saying smart ass? Probably. I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but girl, I am living. If you two don't mind, I'm going to bed. She needs to sort out her priorities. <laughs> Next, we are moving on to Draco Talk. So I just have some videos of Tom Felton like reacting to things because that's his involvement in Draco Talk. So we're not going to be deep diving into Draco Talk, but if you would like to do a deep dive, let me know in the comments. You got a kid on day two of trying to get Tom Felton to notice me. Hi again, Tom. It's me, Briar. I know. You still don't know who I am yet. But I just wanted to let you know something, and this is going to sound seriously ridiculous. But before you were on this... <laughs> Wait a second. <sighs> this girl, who is she? So she's just a girl that was trying to get him to notice her, and then he did. So Tom Felton, AKA Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter, has summoned all of us to do the pot- Wait, okay, hold on. Two things are happening before this even starts. First of all, this girl is gorgeous, and her hair with the red on the ends, incredible, amazing. Second of all, where- is he under the stairs? I'm trying to say Potter like Draco Malfoy, so this is my audition, Tom. Why would Tom, she say Potter? Like Potter. Potter. Wait. That was really good. He does not look as impressed. Potter. Oh, oh, nice to meet you, Juniper. Nice, you're a good hugger. Oh my my name's Tom. Oh my gosh, hold on. I, this is way too much. Uh, there's like maternal things happening. <laughs> it's only Jacob that's me. Tom's, Tom's a really nice person. Oh my gosh, he's saying it's only Draco that's mean and Tom is nice. Okay. And ever and ever and ever Oh my gosh, he's singing Hamilton. Uh, you'll be back. I will fight the fight and win the war. Empire's ball! Oh yeah, he's obsessed with Hamilton. That's right. The next little section we have is Tom Felton interviews. Let's watch. Draco Malfoy is a slick-haired <laughs> evil Nasty little kid, really. You know? Okay, so this is from the Chamber of Secrets uh, special features, and I remember this so clearly because I watched the Chamber of Secrets special features so many times. Probably my favourite, which is a new experience for me altogether, was uh, it was in Hogsmeade, and it was a, it was a snow set. I I mean, it makes sense. Indoor outdoor sets are incredible and they're like such a mind fuck. I, I keep talking about bunked, but like bunked 
looks like it's outside, but all of it was shot inside, in a sound stage, in a studio, on a set. I just, I freaking love filmmaking. It's so cool. You must hear it all the time with the, yes. but your hair is a different color. It is good, the, the hair color is lost now. We had a last day's filming about a week ago, so no more blonde hair for me, I'm very pleased. Oh, no, I no, feel, you'll, change your, you'll change your mind. It is so hard to keep platinum bleached hair looking good. If I finished filming Harry Potter and had bleached hair for freaking seven years or eight years or however many years it took them to film that, I would as well. I love, again, on myself, I like platinum better, but I, I like brown. Emma Watson revealed her first crush was you while filming the first two Harry Potter films. Was the crush mutual? Oh my gosh, this tea! Let's move on, come on now, there's no need for this. Now, we've been very good friends for a very long time. Leave it at that. I was gonna say, like, what is this? <laughs> what is your first on-set memory from filming the Harry Potter movies? I don't know, I used to stuff a lot of chocolates and sweets inside the robe. Ah! And I remember they used to melt. That's so funny to think that in like their wizard robes, they all had like <laughs> little snacks. Did Draco Malfoy get the ending you thought he deserved in Deathly Hallows? Absolutely not. Yes! He should have killed everyone and run off into the sunset. No, of course it was perfect. Um, Joe what? wrote some fabulous stories and I dare no, not. No, 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 no! You were right the first time. Say it with me. Redemption! Okay, and then this is my last little category called Random Tom Felton Sh Happy bloody Christmas. Happy bloody Christmas. I have a huge silver penis on my forehead. I have a huge silver penis on my forehead. <laughs> okay, he's been doing this for three days. I think the quarantine's really starting to get to him. <laughs> he's Me. trying to stop the rain with magic. He's got his wand. Wait, this is amazing. <laughs> I light up my Nimbus to try and start my farm. Yeah, yeah, Jermaine. We'll kiss under the palm tree. Yay! When did Tom Felton write a Dramini song? How did I miss this? This is like Star Kid moment. I think that's it! We did it! Comment below if you want me to do this with another Harry Potter actor. Also, comments and likes just really help my video get seen by more people. So please just give this video a like. Leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can join my Starfish family and geek with me every week. A big shout out to this Starfish who had my notifications turned on. If you turn on my notifications and leave a comment with the hashtag Starfish Family, you could get a shout out in my next video. I also wanted to give a shout out to Vegard who edited this video. Everyone give Vegard some editing love in the comments. We love him. Thank you, Vegard. Check out my description box. Thumbs up if you like this video. And which finger is it? Don't let the muggles get you down. Say gold starfish, bye bye Oh! Just shut up and do the thing, Tessa. I feel like I should move this back a little bit. There we go. Compilation. <coughs> Can't breathe. I put them into little sections. Whatever, you'll see it, you'll get it. Let's just do it. Shut up, Tessa. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't stand myself tonight. Whatever. Very nice face, Tom. Ew, I hate that. <laughs> Someone did an Obliviate charm on me, that's why I can't remember anything. Just kidding, I've had five concussions. So, I am impressed that... What am I even saying? It says, Aguamenti. <laughs> According to this bottle, I should have refilled it and already have drinking drinking. Like, do you want me to react to Daniel Watt? Daniel Watson. Also, comments and like really comments and like. Fuck. What a wonderful